I bought the Warhammer 40k Forces of the Imperium Commander deck. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Stick around to the end to see which cards are worth the most and whether or not to buy these pre-con decks as investments. Alright, starting off, looks like we've got a pretty decent looking deck box here. We'll get into the deck here in a moment. We'll start off with these uh, tokens. We've got some tokens on the side and then a couple of uh, pop-out cards as well. We'll just pop the deck out here, take a look. We've got a uh, beginning player manual there and a life counter. I really like these life counters. They're uh, really handy for use even outside of the commander format. All right, let's dip into this deck. The Imperium of Man is a galaxy-spanning interstellar human empire. The ultimate authority for the majority of the human species in the Milky Way galaxy in the 41st millennium AD. It is ruled by the living god who is known as the Emperor of Mankind. However, there are other humanoid species, classified as Imperial citizens, mainly mutant offshoots of genetic baseline humans who are known as abhumans, and include such human sub-races as the Ogrins, Ratlings, and Squats. The founder and ruler of the Imperium is the godlike Emperor of Mankind, the most powerful human psyker ever born. The Emperor founded the Imperium over 10,000 Terran years ago, in the late 30th millennium during the Unification Wars on Old Earth, following the terrible period in human history known as the Age of Strife. The Emperor continues, at least nominally, to rule the Imperium as both its political master and its primary religious figure. However, his badly damaged body is interred within the cybernetic life support mechanisms of the arcane device known as the Golden Throne, following his mortal wounding during the ancient interstellar civil war of the Horus Heresy. Because of this terrible fate, the Emperor is incapable of interacting with others on a day-to-day -day basis, and has left the basic governance of his Imperium to the Senatorum Imperialis, an oligarchic ruling council of the most powerful noble lords and adepts in the galaxy. The Senatorum Imperialis is currently led by the Emperor's genetic son, the Primarch Robuti Guleman, who chairs the council and directs Imperial policy, as the Lord Commander of the Imperium and Imperial Regent. The Imperium of Man is a war-torn stellar empire, teetering on the brink of collapse. For 10,000 Terran years, it has been ruled by the Deathless Emperor, a being of almost limitless psychic power, to whom thousands of souls are sacrificed daily to provide him the psychic strength to maintain the Imperium's lines of communication and transport. The peoples of the Imperium live in a galaxy where demons are real, mutation is frequent, and death is a constant companion. To be alive in the 41st millennium is to know that the universe is a terrifying and hostile place. It is a place where you are but one amongst billions. And, no matter how heroic your death, you will not be missed.
The 10 most expensive cards in the deck are The Golden Throne. It's a rare for 1965 Canadian. Celestine, the Living Saint, also a rare, 1611. Vexilus Praetor, rare, 1331. Triumph of St. Catherine, 962. Commissar Severina Reign, rare, 906. Marnius Calgar, mythic, 856. Skull Clamp, uncommon, 710. Reaver Titan, rare, 517. Assault Intercessor, rare, 477. And Talisman of Progress, uncommon, 472. The total value of cards at the time of recording is around $164.90 Canadian. And I bought the deck for $90 plus tax. I would say that's a decent investment if you can stomach nearly $100 for a single deck. As a bonus, I wanted to point out my favorite card of this deck. Space Marine Devastator. Honestly, this should probably be more. Uh, if you play this card late game, not only does it destroy an artifact or enchantment of your choice, but if you pay the additional mana, you can create a small army. It's a comeback machine, and I love it. That's all for now. If you got value... That's all for now. If you got value out of today's video, smash that like button and punch subscribe. And remember, ring the bell so you don't miss the next one. Stay cozy, everyone.